one of the best phrases I ever heard was fail forward fast. And I have. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Why we're talking, right? It's just something that we can bring this message to others. Right. Did you push record? <laughs> Thanks so much for tuning in again to our second act with Paige and Silka. Happy that Daryl Gurney decided to stay with us for one more segment. We just can't st stop talking, Daryl. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you missed our first two segments, Daryl is a career... I, I'm not going to say reinvention this time. How about creation <laughs> coach <I'm right. laughs> who specializes in, uh, you know, helping us at midlife structure, you know, our second act as the uh, best act of our life. Daryl is a heavy hitter in that market. Just do a little bit of research. We'll link to all of his stuff. And Daryl, you know, we talked about this in the last segment is that the mindset that a lot of us have at 50 that was different than 20, there's a lot of fear of failure that prevents us from perhaps structuring our, our second half as the best half. Talk to me about that. Well, one of the, one of the things that we've talked about, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> in the last couple segments <clears throat> is the idea that people get to 40 or 50 and they haven't achieved enough yet, <clears throat> or they feel like they haven't really made it yet. And, and uh, so there's this feeling that, you know, I, I just, I didn't, I didn't make it. I didn't cut it in my best, years are behind me and therefore it's just, you know, I lost this time around, you know, this lifetime around. But the point is um, that mindset alone will constrict people from taking risks because look, if I'm already a loser, why would I ever put myself out to try <clears throat> anything and, and kind of get out there and, you know, go for it. Right. <clears throat> so one thing, and I think the last two segments, you know, start to etch away at that idea that you've lost out on this because of the first half. No, the first half was just setting you up for launch, okay? So that's the first thing we got to let go of <clears throat> is the idea that, you know, we are already a failure and therefore we're not going to try anything. Then the other thing is, you know, just the way people are built, the way society sets us up, <clears throat> usually after 40, 50, 60, people become closed into their world. You know, all of a sudden, they're only hanging around with people that think like them. Or only, you know, you'll hear people make statements like, been there, done that, or, oh, that's just not me. And so a couple of things to take to note about that. <clears throat> Number one, look at 20-year-olds. 20-year-olds are creating the new technologies. They're, because they're not living like, Failure is something that they just have to so avoid, right? They're not worried about that they won't look good if they fall on their face. They're not worried about the fact that they don't know how to do it yet. <clears throat> but you look at 40, 50, 60 year olds and it's kind of like, you know, yeah, one day I want to write a book. Yeah, one day. And then 20 years later, yeah, one day I want to write a book. But the point is, until they can dot every I and cross every T, they don't even get started. One of the uh, principles that we bring up in the back 40 is this idea called play first. Now, what does play first mean? Well, see, when people are reticent to take risk, they're going to wait until they know exactly how to do it. Well, guess what? When you were 20 or when you were 18 or you were learning how to dance or and stuff like that, you didn't already know how to do it. Right. You don't start something by already knowing how to do it. But when you were 18 to 20 and maybe in your mid 20s or something, you tried things and then you stepped back and you go, well, that worked or didn't work. What can I do better? OK, I try again. In other words, you played first before you had it all figured out. Yeah. When people get into their second half, they want to have it all figured out. I we should you. know it by now. Yeah. And if you don't know it, you obviously are not someone who could do it. Right. Because yeah. if you if you were meant to do it, you would have already would known have already it. Done it yeah. This circular thing yeah. that keeps us limited. So so the, the one thing is, number one, learning to play first and give yourself the room to what I call play ugly. Yeah. <laughs> play ugly. Don't 
have it all figured out. Don't worry. And again, oh, I've played ugly. <laughs> well, that's great because see, that's why Silka, you're doing something now, completely outside the box, completely of what <laughs> before, because you're willing to not need to know how it's going to work out. You're willing to fail and fall on your face. One of the best phrases I ever heard was fail forward fast. And I have. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Why we're talking, right? It's just something that we can bring this message to others. Right. One idea then to, a, to combat the risk averseness over 50 is play first and treat things like a game versus be all end all. I'm going to look foolish. What if I don't know? do it right? What if I, you know, all that stuff. The other thing is become curious again. Because too often, you know, as we've aged and gained, quote, wisdom, mm -hmm. and I, I have something to say about that wisdom thing, okay? Um, you know, society tells us that you get older and you get wise, and but see, that's the same society that listens to people say things like, oh, well, that's not me, or, or I've been there, done that, and, and, and so actually wisdom can become your prison cell. Yes. Because... For example, let's say they were a, a woman was abused when she was 15, and then she mar married a man who you know didn't treat her right either. Well, the old wisdom model says men aren't going to treat you well. Mm -hmm. Now, what's a second half going to be like for a woman who has bought into that wisdom? See, I say that isn't wisdom, but that's having become a victim of your past versus like we've talked about, seeing that your past has set you up to do something. Well, maybe what there is is to go empower, you know, women who have been in relationships and help support the idea that there's good men out there. What if there's really good men out what there? a great point. I love that point over and above your example. Yeah. So, so the point is, number one, becoming curious again versus stuck in your old beliefs or even your old structures. Like uh, one of the uh, videos we play when we do our three-day Infuse program is a woman who at 80, she went on to Brit Brit Britain's Got Talent. You can look her up. It's Grandma Salsa or something like that. But literally, she started learning salsa at 80. <laughs> And you watch this and you're just so inspired because she was willing to be curious again, not know something. And she totally, they won, they rocked it. You know, she's with this guy who's 40 years younger than her, you know, <laughs> so play first and become curious again. So, uh, I uh, created an actual uh, uh, online program called the Back 40 Renew All program. It's renew, meaning bringing newness to the all of you. And a lot of these topics I cover in that. And what it's really about is about creating a transition strategy. When you've gone through a bad thing or you're coming out of a bad thing, what if on the other side of it is something even so much better, mm -hmm. right? And so anyhow, I would just uh, offer the... Uh, it, it's it's about uh, five modules where I go into this about playing first, being curious again, and noticing that life can get bigger versus get smaller. Well, I'll I'll be sure to to link uh, to all of that, and I cannot believe that we're already right at the ten minute mark. <laughs> hey. We, we do good conversation. We do, and we're going to have more and more segments to come. Uh, I do need to close this one out now, and I'm going to ask you for your closing words of wisdom or not. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Start to question your wisdom and start to get curious again and play beyond what you think you know that you are or beyond what you think you know you can do. Well, because there's something on the other side of that. Exactly. And and for people that you used that word earlier, Pollyanna, Pollyanna-ish, <laughs> is that the right word? Um, it may sound like that, but the fact is, and I totally agree with you, it is about what we believe. 
you know, and that's, and that's, I think the message that we both want to get out. So thank you again. I look forward to lots more conversations with you on our second act. And, and, and if people want to get some tips on this, if they go to the back 40.com forward slash free, they can grab their top 10 tips for a radical second half. Or they can go to the back40.com forward slash renew all, R E N E W A L L, and they can uh, check out that program I mentioned. Absolutely. And I'm going to have the links down there. They can just click on it and click right to you. So thank you so much, Daryl. And we'll talk thank to you. you. We'll talk to you next time. Bye. <laughs>so glad you were able to join us today. If you haven't already done so, please just take one second and subscribe to our channel. Button's right over here. And for more information about reinventing your life after 50, please visit our website, secondact.tv. See you soon.